Okay, National Days of Protest Against Immigration Reform, Amnesty, and Illegal Immigration Surge. So there's 167 protests so far going on July 18th and 19th, and this is all these towns across the country protesting that they don't want these illegals set up in their town. Oh, those racists. Jeez. I'm perfectly fine with the first 2,000 They'll be here by the children. end of the month that will be in our town yes. uh, by the end of the month. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is this gonna do to, what is this gonna do to our towns? How destabilizing mm -hmm. uh, is, is 2,000 orphan children, first wave, in a town of, what is, what is it, 60,000, 80,000? Well, how destabilizing is that? And that's the first round. And I mean, the definition of children is loose here because a lot of these are 15, 16 year olds that will be right. adults in so a year. So do they speak English? Do they have any skill? I mean, if you're talking 16, 15, 16, it's 17, yeah. they have any skill. Are they gonna go to school? If they don't go to school, what do we do? Do we round them up, put them in jail? What, what, what? This doesn't make any sense. If they do go to school, it changes the complexity of the school district. Uh, you got to hire more Spanish speaking teachers. I mean, it, it causes all kinds of, all kinds of issues. Hospitals, the cost of it, building new buildings. Our, our, our yeah, schools radio, are already the crowded. The, the, the radio reported this morning that the federal government was picking up the tab. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're talking about the cost of it. Yeah. I, I want you to know, first of all, Harry Reid is right. <laughs> the border is absolutely secure. Yeah. It's absolutely secure. It's secure. How could it be secure when you're asking for $4 billion? Had we done comprehensive immigration reform, we wouldn't be having this issue. And everyone here, the border is secure. I want you to know there's not a problem on the border. The guy is, there's something seriously yes. wrong with him. Yes. I mean it, there's seriously something wrong with him. Crowdhammer said, you know, is he on his medication? I don't think there's medication strong enough for this. The border is absolutely secure. We don't have a problem with it at all. We need four billion, same breath, we need four billion dollars to house the refugees. Yeah, I mean, and a big chunk of that is for border security, supposedly. Right. Like a big chunk of why do we need more border security if the border is secure? Right. And then the other big chunk of it was to health and human control. services for to care for all the people coming in. So okay, the the kids and everything. So like why, you know, why would you need the money to care for all these people coming in if it's secure and no one's coming in? You know what we need to do? We need to ship all of these children to New York City. We need to ship them all to Washington D.C. We need to ship them all to Vermont, to San Francisco, to Los Angeles. We need to ship them all to the places that are all surrounding, uh, that, that are all filled with people who say this is not a problem because they clearly have it figured out. They know they will take better care of the children. They will know how to fix it with the hospitals. They will know, because I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to fix this. So let them model it. You know how to fix it. it. You know how it's not going to affect. And it's not good enough to put them in Harry Reid's um, uh, Ritz Carlton in Washington, D.C. No, no. Put them right in Nevada. Ship them right to Nevada. Ship them to his neighborhood where he and his children go to school. You put them right in his neighborhood because it's not going to affect anybody. It's going to be totally fine. His children are retired. What do you mean go to school? Well, his great-great-grandchildren. <laughs>